Hi everyone, my name is Nikita and today I wanted to share with you a quick start guide for users. We will discuss the creation of OKRs, linking Jira issues and some examples of how you can structure everything, as well as briefly cover the topics of check-ins and reporting. So, to create an objective, you can click on this button, select a level, enter the title, description, you can also change pre-selected OKR level here and select the owner of the OKR, groups that will be assigned to it, interval and stakeholders. You can also assign labels if you want to. Key results can be created from the table. Here you can select an objective for key result under which you can create you want to create another key result. Click three dots and click create key result or you can do it from the table itself. Here you can also see a section called key results. You click on a plus sign, select key results, and here also add a title, add description, add assignees in intervals, and select how it's going to be presented and evaluate it in percents, binary, or number. Once you're ready, again, click create, and that's it. Regarding the Jira issues, there are two ways of how you can actually link them. You can link them by name or using JQL. So here, for example, you click link and here use uh, Jira issue ID, for example, PD9. And here it is. Or we can use a part or the whole title of this issue. For example, this one has Explorer in its name, yeah? So let's type it in, Explorer, yeah, there you go, found it. Once you're ready, you select it and click link. The other way how you can link is JQL. It also allows you to link in bulk. Let's type something simple here, for example, project equals DM, yeah? Search. There you go, found 55 Jira issues and you can link all of them with a, with a single link, uh, click of a button. The last thing I want to mention here is called custom weights. So what is it and why do we need it? So custom weights feature will allow you to adjust how impactful the nested items are to your parent OKR. Some of them may be related, some of the nested items may be related to your parent OKR, but not exactly contributing towards the completion of it, right? On the opposite, some of them may be so impactful that you won't actually to change how it will impact your main objective. And you can do it from this menu. To open it, you open some OKR, click custom weights, and here switch from equal to manual mode. And here you can select how impactful a certain OKR is. On the left, you will also see a contribute column. So here you can turn off the contribute completely. So this particular key result will not change the grade of the parent OKR at all. Once you're ready, you'll click confirm. And that's it. So. We created already some key results, we created some OKRs, we already have OKR lab levels and everything. How do we structure it? How do we keep track of everything? So there are a lot of different ways, there are a lot of different methodologies, but three of them are considered the primary ones. They are called classic, roadmap and flat. So starting from the first one, classic. Classic structure. For this structure, OKRs are defined by quarterly meetings, where yearly company OKRs are broken down into quarterly company OKRs, which are then used as base for aligning the department OKRs. Yeah, so we see here on top, company level yearly OKR with, with yearly key result. Then we go down to quarterly company, objective and then we go down to department quarterly objectives level 
The next one is called Roadmap. Companies that follow Roadmap OKRs do not prioritize flexibility and instead break down yearly OKRs into quarterly OKRs for each quarter simultaneously. So again, we see on top the company level yearly or objective and below it we see key results for each quarter of the year. And the last one called flat companies that follow the flat OKR structure combine the breakdown and alignment processes. Their OKR structure does not feature quarterly company OKRs and instead each department set its own quarterly OKRs based on the yearly company objectives. On top company level objective that belongs to yearly interval and below it we see right from the start the department level quarterly objectives with its key results. So we created OKRs, we structured them and now we need tools to actually track the progress. So one of these tools that can help you with it is called Homepage. Homepage is all about your personal and your team's progress. It will help you to make check-ins, to see how your team is doing, to see how you're doing, maybe adjust some things. So you can go to this page, select an interval, select for example yourself, and here you will see all the objectives for which you are an owner and objectives where you are only a stakeholder. And you see the progress of these objectives. The graph here will calculate the average of all objectives where you are only an owner. You can also switch and show only key results. So in this case, it will the graph will take into account only key results without the objective grade. So here we see two Jira issues acting as key results and it will give you an average of 20%. So the last table here is called Peter's Groups and it will show you your team's progress. Can be multiple groups, can be a single one, in this case it's only sales. So you can see that sales team has 50% pro progress in its objectives and 53% progress in its key results. You can also click here and see breakdown for all team member and what their progress is. You can also click on every objective in key result in the list, write comments here and make a check-in, update your team on everything that happened during last week or last two weeks, for example. You can tag these people and they will receive notifications inside the app or on their email address. The next tool is called custom dashboard. So this one will allow you to create more customizable reports based on the level you want to. For example, it can be C-level report or maybe just your team's report. You start by creating a goal and then adding already existing objectives to the list. The goal can be quarterly, the goal can be yearly, depending on you. It can you can add here up to 10 objectives and this is how it's going to look like from default your goal the average progress of all objectives added to the report here you can see one of the objectives its title its current progress the progress in the last seven days and below it you will see all the nested items of this objective you can click the next one and see the same information here you can also share this report and make it public to everyone or private only to selected users. Once you're done, you click done and that's it. You can also export this report in a PDF format. Yeah, and actually if we go, go to dashboard and custom dashboards, here you will see the list of all custom dashboards 
that were created either by you or shared with you. You can also click on the hearts icon to add it to favorites and sort by it. And that's it about viewporting. So the only thing also I wanted to mention here is our Confluence app. We will not go into details on how to set it up. You can go and check out our admin guide and it will mention how to install the app, how to make a link between the main app and the Confluence app, what's the difference between the setup process for cloud and data center, and how to add macros. Uh, today I will show you only how to actually add macros to your page. So you go to your Confluence page, you can either edit existing one or create new. Yeah, here you click on the plus sign, type in abort, and you can see that you can select from three different macros. For now, let's select filters. Here we can select filters like workspace, interval, owners, groups, everything is the same as on the alignment view, all the filters. So once you're ready, you added your filter, you added everything, you click publish, and there you go. So what are these three macroses? The first one is the alignment view, the main one. It's interactable, you can click here, show all the nested items, or you can also click on any OKR and be redirected to actual page in the main app. The next one is home page. Again, works the same way. You can select filters, switch between objectives and key result progress. And by clicking on the OKR, be redirected to the main app. And the last one is the performance dashboard. Performance dashboard will show you a more deep dive into the uh, your group structure and each group progress. For each group, you can also click on the group and show individual process of everyone there. And I guess that's it for today. Thank you everyone and see you next time. Bye.